me ask you about another project that's gotten a lot of attention. This idea of capturing an asteroid. Fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> Again, worth the billions of dollars it's going to cost to uh, do it. We don't we know how much it? it's going to cost. And, and, you know, everybody likes to say worth the billions. We don't know precisely how much it's going to cost. The president asked the Congress to appropriate $105 million to let us take a very serious look at an asteroid retrieval mission where we can go out communicate with academia, with American industry, with, with our foreign partners, and get everybody's idea about our concept. We have a concept uh, that kind of is an offshoot of, of a, Keck stu a, a study from the Keck Institute, uh, you know, that Jet Propulsion Labs contracted several years ago. Um, their estimate was $2.5 billion for their, their concept. We think that it may be possible for us to do it at somewhere less than that because they don't have a, their, their concept didn't have a, an already available heavy lift launch vehicle, an Orion crew module. Uh, there are a number of other things that it didn't have. Uh, but no matter uh, how much is it worth to be able to, to, uh, di to change the trajectory of an asteroid and keep it from landing on, an, on a city of, of the globe. This is that's, not a, That's the goal here. No, that's not the goal of the, of, the, of the strategy. The astronauts, the good thing about the strategy, and, and I always refer to it as a strategy and not a mission, the asteroid retrieval mission is a part of the strategy. The strategy allows us to do multiple things. Uh, we are required by law to identify and characterize uh, all Earth-threatening asteroids. We're behind schedule. We were supposed to have had that done by now under the national space policy. And the Congress keeps asking. We don't have the technical capability to identify all of them yet, but we're getting close. We've identified about 90% of those that are, you know, region-threatening or city-threatening. We did not know that the, the meteorite that exploded over Chelyabinsk was coming because it came from the wrong direction, you know, I'm told out of the sun, and we just didn't have the technical capability to detect that small a meteor, uh, you know, remnants of an asteroid. We've got to be able to do better than that. Um, I think, I don't, I can't put a value, a monetary value on saving a thousand people or thousands of people from injury or saving a city that could be destroyed by an asteroid coming in. One of the, one of the benefits, one of the side benefits, if we carry out this mission and we find that, yea, verily, we do know how to deflect an asteroid. Is uh, one day the potential saving of an American city or a Japanese city or a city somewhere around the world. And since I don't want to be like the dinosaurs, it means that potential extinction of, the, of civilization as we know it will become less probable, at least from a natural disaster like an, like a, you know, like an asteroid.